So now we've covered some of the basics of sample searching. Let's move on to another really great feature in Loop Cloud, and that's the ability to turn one shots into loops. And we do this down in the player. So I'm going to hit Command and P or Control and P on a PC on my keyboard again, which is going to make our player appear. Um, and now you can see what's actually been happening when I've been clicking on these samples. It's been loading them into the player down at the bottom here from where we can just play them using the space bar, which is just activating the play and pause buttons here. But the other awesome thing you can do down here, like I said, if I just make it even larger by dragging on the edge here, um, is you can sequence this one shot into a loop. And you do that by going to the pattern menu here and then choosing one of the factory presets. Uh, you can see there's a separate kicks menu here and then a sub menu containing general and then a number of different genres. So we could just go to house and in there, there's a 4-4 kick. And you can also find some of these in the essential starters. So 4-4 kick being an incredibly common one there. You can also try out different patterns from the group using the arrows. And just to reiterate, these are literally just that one shot that you have selected above, sequenced into a particular pattern just by duplicating the one shot and then changing the values of this particular slice, like changing its level, adding fades, and then changing the pitch if you're getting a bit more advanced. But the really great thing about this is that once you have your pattern selected, like this 4-4 kick pattern, I can then choose different samples to sequence into this pattern. And then once you've found a sample that you're happy with, the only difference here now is that although this sample is actually on my computer, I'm not going to drag out the original sample from the top anymore. I need to use the export feature in the player here because this then drags out loops that have been created down here in the player, which can actually contain a number of different tracks, so a number of different samples layered on top of one another as well. Um, so yeah, so just to export this single kick loop now, we can just click on the export button, which downloads it, processes it. And this is set to the current mix default mode, by the way, but we'll look at that in a moment. So now when I just drag this out and then switch over to live, I can drag it onto an audio track here, or actually I could go over to arrangement view, which is probably better for display purposes. And then if I just zoom in here by clicking and dragging at the top. You can see we've now got this one bar kick loop loaded onto this first audio track here. And I'm just going to actually zoom in. This is something I do as standard in live, which you'll find out more about if you learn to use it. Just get rid of this fade at the start here. And now we have our four beat or four four kick loop here. So jumping back over to Loop Cloud now then, now let's just repeat the process, but we'll do it with a hat. So I can keep the same search. I'm just going to actually lose this sample pack search there. So we just have the one search for now, keep things simple. Um, and now I could modify this search if I wanted to just work with individual samples one at a time. That's one way of working. And the way I do that is by coming over to this kick instrument tag clicking the cross to remove it, and then I'm going to choose a hi-hat instead. Again, we're now searching for Tech House hi-hat one-shots. So if I now click on one of the hats, what happens is it replaces the kick down in the player here. So we now get a 4-4 hat. Which isn't what we want, so we're going to go over to the pattern menu once again, and we're going to go to the hats and shakers category house, and then just choose one of these house hats. Now, if we wanted to check these out with the kick that we already have in our door, we can just switch back over to Ableton here. Uh, we can click on this and either right click it and choose loop selection or use the keyboard shortcut command L in this case. 
That then just loops this in the arrangement. What this means is when we keep this rolling and we go back over to Loop Cloud and we click play in there, we'll be able to hear this audio, this kick loop synchronized with the hats that we've got coming out of the Loop Cloud app. So let's say I'm liking this loop now. So once again, all I have to do is click export. And if it was a sample that I didn't own, like this one over here, then when you when you go over to the button, you can see it now says buy. So I have to click it to purchase it once, after which you can then click it to export and then click it to drag it out and then just add it onto the track below. And if I hit play, in live once again, you can now hear our kick and our hat. So just switching back over to this uh, session view to adjust the levels a little bit there. Uh, it's just a little bit easier to see them on the, the mixer in this display, but you can see I could bring the level of my kick and my hat up and down with the faders here. <laughs> 